So, evidently Republicans like to think that they're able to um, defund other people just because they don't get the particular bill passed that they want to that blocks voters from voting. Now, there's a um, recent um, bill and that was being pushed by Texas Governor Greg Abbott that would block people from having more than two non-family members in their vehicles as they're driving to polling places on voting day. This effectively disenfranchises a lot of people because in lower income areas, of course, a lot of people are going to be carpooling in order to possibly be able to save gas because of course gas is expensive and what's cheaper is just riding together in the same vehicle especially if somebody else has like a say 15 passenger van that everyone can just crawl into and drive together and save i don't know say four or five families the expense of getting more gas after they've driven to the polling place which is probably several miles away so not exactly within walking distance either but Greg Abbott thinks that this is a reasonable uh, way to stack the cards in his party's favor and, and secure the next election and so when Democratic lawmakers in the state walked out in order to block the bill from passing um he basically made this statement um, on Twitter. I will veto Article 10 of the budget passed by the legislator. Later, Article 10 funds the legislative branch. No pay for those who have been in their responsibilities. Stay tuned. So basically, Greg Abbott decided, No, you can't take away my toy. I'm taking away your toy instead. <laughs> I'm unhappy with you. I mean, seriously, it's like they're having a shouting match over nothing. Which is exactly what you're going to risk by getting yourself a VPN today. Sorry about this. Um, uh, sorry about this shoehorned in ad, but let's have a word from our sponsor today, shall we? The internet can be a scary place sometimes. With hackers and malware ready to steal your data, what can you do to stay safe? Thankfully, Surfshark VPN has a plan for you. Surfshark provides an affordable service to mask your device's location and also keep your data secure. Whether it's binge watching your favorite foreign shows or staying safe on the go, Surfshark's desktop and mobile apps have you covered. And right now, if you use my affiliate link, you can save 81% on your first two years of service. Get Surfshark VPN today and secure your digital life. So, yeah, um, this whole situation with Greg Abbott and him wanting to basically suppress voting rights and suppress the ability for especially black people to vote, because this is basically who it's targeting. Minorities and people of color who are less fortunate and less financially stable will be the ones most affected by this in that they will have to find alternative means of hopefully being able to get to a polling location and vote on issues that affect them. Now, I don't know about you, but if I were being forced to either go out of my way to try and get to a polling place on my dollar just because of a, a law that was passed that affected me personally and kept me from being able to just carpool and save the money I might need for my rent or my water bill or my electricity bill or my food, I would be a bit upset. And I, I do believe that a lot of people in Texas are upset about the issue. Um, enough Democrats left the chamber <laughs> on Sunday to break a 100-member quorum, which is required to pass a bill. So basically, 
Democrats decided, yeah, we're not doing this. And so, because they left, they don't have enough people. And because they don't have enough people, they can't, but they can't pass the legislation needed to basically secure their next terms by supp suppressing the people that would have voted against them. This is Republican politics 101. Stack the deck in your favor, and when it doesn't go out, doesn't go the way that you wanted it to, just whine like a baby and cry until you get your way anyway, because everyone's going to cry foul until the Democrats have to come back to the table and try and figure out a way to get things done without looking like a bunch of schlubs because they left the table. That's basically what this is. They, they're they basically using five-year-old tag, tactics of whining and crying until they get their way, and then when they do, they think, <laughs> guess what we did? We got our way and you didn't. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's almost like they... They they take their they take their political I don't know strategy from their children. I mean, just saying it 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 seems like you're less mature than even your kids would be at this point. But I digress. Um, this this mainly um attacks the souls to the polls campaigns that a lot of black churches have been doing over the years, which is that. They gather at their local church and they use the buses that the churches have in order to bus people to the polling locations so they can vote. And this is basically a direct, a direct attack on that. A direct attack so that way there's no way that the black vote could get out as massively as it has been in the last few years. That black voters wouldn't have their voices heard as much as they have been in the last few years. And I personally am unhappy about that because seeing as we've had a, a a couple of years of instances where we've seen black citizens, African American citizens' rights being, well, even put people of color of all kinds, rights being basically violated, basically not even even ignored in some cases, this is not right, this is not safe, this is not what, what, this isn't what America was supposed to be, and is supposed to be, and hopefully will eventually be, but we don't know. But to see that this is happening is definitely a, a, uh, mark of shame on the, on the, uh, face of, uh, <laughs> Greg Abbott and and those who support him, let's just say that um, no matter what happens, they've already lost because a lot of people in Texas are seeing what's happening. And if they can get to the polls, and believe me, you can't stop a really determined pe person from getting where they want to go if they feel that it's a very basic need that they go. It, it, it won't stop them. It'll just make it harder. But you'll see just how resilient people are once it happens anyway. But again, this is this is definitely an attack on people's First Amendment rights to be able to say and vote the way they want to. They want to. This is basically a, an attack on that. Anyway, what are your thoughts? What are what are some of your uh, concerns on this? What are your I don't know viewpoints? your own personal experiences. I would love to see them, hear from you, hear about them in the comments section down below. Just go ahead and go down there and make a comment. Also, by the way, if you want to continue to support me in different ways, you can either click that link down below for Surfshark VPN and get yourself a good VPN that will keep your data safe and also support me in the, in the um, meantime and just many different ways that you can support me just by subscribing and that's free anyway i hope you're having a wonderful day thank you so much for being here and god bless you have a wonderful evening and a wonderful day god bless